This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1594. Five Effective Ways to Add More Movement to Your Day by Anthony Ungaro of BreakTheTwitch.com. And I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil. Happy middle of the week Wednesday and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read some of the best health and fitness blogs to you and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now today is the middle of the week. It's the middle of the first full week of the new year. So maybe we need a little bit of inspiration already and that's all good. So here we go. Quote, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. George Bernard Shaw. And with that, now that we're in the right frame of mind, let's get right to today's article and start optimizing your life. Five Effective Ways to Add More Movement to Your Day by Anthony Ungaro of BreakTheTwitch.com As it turns out, we are still in the middle of a pandemic, and winter is coming or already here. Amy and I have spent much of the summer months primarily inside the house, and now is when we're finally able to enjoy the outdoors in Arizona. But for many of you, it's time to trade. Freezing temperatures. Mounds of snow and ice over roads mean that more people will be staying indoors, working from home, and generally moving around even less. Minus the weather inverse, the summer months we recently experienced will be the winter experience for many. It was quite a challenging time being cooped up inside for so long. What was helpful in getting through the months of being primarily indoors was to add more movement during the day. Regular exercise is great for mental and cardiovascular health and muscle development, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is what's often missed, the general movement during the day, the movement of being out and about, walking from one place to another, like from a parking lot to a building or around the block. It's the patterns and daily routines that are more conducive in milder weather. During those scorching summer months, I found myself waking up and walking a few steps over to the bathroom, then a few more steps into the kitchen and a couple of steps into my office. And that was pretty much it. I'd end up sitting there for hours at a time. The additional factor of being cooped up in the house during the pandemic was really tough for me. The lack of movement during the day was psychologically detrimental, especially over an extended period of time. Since many of us are going to an indoor season with a worsening pandemic situation, I wanted to share a few ideas on how to add more movement on a daily basis. Five effective ways to add more movement every day. One, doorway action trigger. This idea is choosing a movement to do whenever you pass through a doorway inside your house. You can put a post-it at the top of the doorway reminding you to do the action of your choosing. Whatever your chosen movement, every time you walk through the doorway, you do the action. The movement could be bending over to touch your toes, lifting a weight by the door, or reaching up to touch the top of the door frame. It could be a push-up, a squat, or a jumping jack. This is a fun way to incorporate different movements as you can easily change it up on a regular basis. Two, reason to get up. Give yourself a compelling reason to get up from where you are and move around during the day. Especially if you're spending a lot of time working at your desk, designing or finding opportunities to get up and move will be helpful. A great example of this is to put your phone in another room. That way, if you wanna check your phone, you'll need to get up in order to do that. You'll likely find that not having your phone nearby while you're working will be beneficial for your focus as well. Whether it's a phone, a book, or a favorite snack, Whatever is a compelling and motivating source for you, consider putting it upstairs or somewhere where you'll have a little ways to go to add more movement during the day. Three, adjustable standing desk. Another effective way to add more movement is to get an adjustable standing desk. The key word here is adjustable so that you're not standing all day. If you're used to sitting most of the time, transitioning to a permanent standing desk is not fun, comfortable, or good for your knees, speaking from experience here. Working full-time from home on content for Break the Twitch and our members means that I am in front of a computer for most of the day. And so, I've been wanting a standing desk for a while and was interested when I was contacted by FlexiSpot, 
who offered to send me one that matched my existing office furniture. I decided to try them out after I did some research online and saw that they were one of the most affordable options with a lot of positive five-star reviews. Now, the desk was easy to put together. It's motorized, meaning it goes up and down with an easy push of a button on the electronic panel. You can also set up and save custom positions. I used to have a standing desk that wasn't motorized back when we lived in Minneapolis. That one took a bit of effort to lift to standing height when I needed it. What I like about the FlexiSpot electric desk is that it's easy to use, sturdy, and supports up to 150 pounds. Plus, they have different color options to choose from. Four, recurring timer or blocks. The next idea to add more movement during the day is to use a recurring timer or use timed blocks to remind yourself to move. I've heard studies and advice on how it's good to stand up and move around every 20 minutes. That feels like a lot, especially if you're doing really focused work. But hey, if it works for you, go for it. For me, I like to do focus blocks of 90 minutes, like what we do over in the Break the Twitch community. And once the timed session is over, I use that natural break to stretch and move around. And five, stand on one foot. This idea may sound peculiar, but it's a great way to work those core stabilizing muscles. While doing routine tasks around the house, stand on one foot until you're done with the task. The next time you do that task, alternate by standing on the other foot. You can do this while you're brushing your teeth, washing the dishes, or even checking your phone. As long as the task doesn't require sitting or moving your feet, you can incorporate this in multiple ways. Of course, getting in a dedicated workout during the day is a solid way to add more movement when we have the time. However, getting daily movement doesn't need that sort of big commitment. The small everyday actions matter too, and these ideas will help to add more movement during these next few months. You just listened to the post titled Five Effective Ways to Add More Movement to Your Day by Anthony Ungaro of BreakTheTwitch.com. These days, we could all use a little more self-care. FitOn is the number one free fitness app designed to help you achieve your health and wellness goals and fit some much-needed me time into your schedule. So how do you spend your me time? Whatever you enjoy doing, find your me time with FitOn. FitOn has a wide variety of classes available from yoga, high-intensity interval training or HIIT, something we've heard here on the show many times before, kickboxing, cardio, strength, dance, and even guided meditation. FitOn is the number one premium free fitness app and it is redefining the workout experience. First, FitOn workouts are always free to use, if you can believe it. You can access over 1,000 workouts anytime, anywhere with workouts as short as five minutes. There's no equipment or gym membership required, and classes are taught by both world-class trainers and even celebrities. Join over 10 million people getting their fit on. Work out for free anytime, anywhere. Text DAILY to 64000 to join fit on for free. Text DAILY to 64000. That's DAILY to 64000. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I really liked Anthony's standing on one foot idea. This is because balance issues are so common, especially as we age. As we get older, it's normal to have problems with maintaining our balance. Earlier in the week, we talked about heavy strength training and how that's important for maintaining muscle as we get older. Heavy strength training can also help with balance, and so can little exercises like standing on one foot. So with regular practice, researchers are finding that these little balance issues can be delayed, like practicing standing on one foot. Even if you have to hold on to something in the beginning, that's okay. With practice, it will become easier. And before you know it, you won't have to rely on holding on to a steady object to maintain your balance. Another wonderful technique I like to use is closing your eyes and placing one foot in front of the other. This also helps improve balance. Hold that position with your eyes closed for 15 seconds or longer. Then, switch your feet and hold that position for another 15 seconds or longer. Now, warning, when you first try this out, feeling like you're gonna tip over and trying to catch yourself is very common. So, we can avoid actually falling over by holding onto a steady object. 
Now, with time and practice, balance will improve. Now, other exercises like yoga and Pilates and strength training also help with maintaining balance over the long term. So incorporating those as well will help with our balance issues, especially as we age. All right, that does it for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you back here on tomorrow's show where your optimal life awaits.